right, and we back, we back, we back, we back, we back, we back. Y'all ready? That was quick. <laughs> it was quick, wasn't it? I should have used the bathroom while I'm back so quick. No, I should have did. Yeah, I was like, girl, I done did a whole live an hour and a half before I just got on this one. Hold on, y'all. Let me go use the bathroom because I should have used the bathroom. I said I wasn't cooking y'all, but I cooked. I made some smothered potatoes and onions and some toast and um some sausage and eggs. That's what I made last night for dinner. Whoo, yeah, we back. Alrighty, so I think the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the ham up, get the ham going. And then we just gonna cruise our way on from there. So y'all ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? 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 Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? 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 Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? 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 Is you ready? Is you ready? Is you ready? 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 I hope you're ready. All right, y'all. So we're gonna have to come over here, cause I'm gonna put it. In, I'm gonna put the ham in the crock pot. You're driving, so be dry careful. Trying this one. Have y'all tried this before? 
It's got 7.5% alcohol. And I like sangria. It say real sangria. I don't know. It's just in this dark bottle with this orange label. And it seemed like it was real important just because it was in this um dark bottle. And I was like, I was looking for me a wine. And I was like, let me try this one right here. So I got this one. Y'all let me know if y'all tried that. Why is them comments not moving? Because then it was the last one I saw. Where I get what from? Oh, you like the Gallo family wine? Yeah, I did too, but you know, I try to step outside the box of just one brand, one kind, expensive and all of that right there because it's Motor Wine um, Publix. It's more to wine than just Gallo Moscatos and stuff. Like, I tried this one wine, Dublin. Dublin, um, sweet red or some, some, but Dublin, I know is the brand. And, um, uh, when I tell y'all that wine is to me and tastes like top of the line when you looking for like a good sweetness and the perfect balance, um, with the alcohol and everything, like, and and it tastes just like what they made it with. Oh, I never knew wine can get that good. So that's why I like to try different wines just to, to see, you know, what's out there, what I like and stuff. Ain't nobody trying to be spitting all that money on the wine all the time either. That high behind wine when you got wine that's cheaper. That was like, well, that was on sale, I think it was, for like $9. Can't beat that for that big old thing. Hold on, I'm cold. I need a dime. That's top of the line. Keep face, little waist, and a bit behind. I need a dime. That's top of the line. Keep face, little waist, and a bit behind. I need a dime. I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a dime. That's top of the line. Cute face, little waist with a big behind. I asked to take it back to Opera Mist recently. I was, it was pretty good. I tried the pineapple strawberry and the blackberry. Girl, you definitely took it back, child. I can't play with that Opera Mist, honey. That ain't number juice. Number juice. Hey, Miss April. Oh, that sounds good. Um, I'm making, um, layered strawberry cheesecake. That's what I'm making. That's what I'm making. It's going to be good, too, girl. 
You was, you was around the time when I used to make that all the time, wasn't you, baby? When I fell in love with it and couldn't stop making it. Cheesecake for Christmas. Okay. To the playing games I couldn't watch. You're live on my lad on my TV, but I could see it on oh, my phone. What? Why they why they why they it, I wonder I can't be the only one. I can't be the only one. I I, I can't be the only one. Can't be. I, I don't know y'all. I don't even know what to tell y'all about that right now. They just doing the most. I hate they, I hate they bothering y'all like that though, cause that's messing up me with my views. See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. It's like the harder I work, the more they be cutting back on me, and that's how they cut back by not giving y'all notifications. Cause as long as y'all ain't getting them damn notifications, how you gonna be here to watch me for me to even make something, shake something? You know what I'm saying? They know what they be doing. I don't know what they be doing, but maybe they know what they be doing. Can't make nothing shape. Ain't nobody here. All right, y'all. So I got my hand here. I'm gonna get my bag. Come store it. All right, let's get on down here. Show y'all how I'm finna hook this ham up. You going to Florida after the holidays to see your grandbaby? Oh, look. Have fun for me. All right. So I got my ham. The ingredients that you're going to need is your ham, pineapple slices, cola, butter, brown sugar, white sugar, and I like to add some syrup. That's what you're going to need. So I ain't cooking this whole ham. We're going to be make we're going to make this ham useful. On two occasions, that's day and night, Christmas and Thanksgiving, New Year's. <laughs> okay, child, honey, we making these uh this thirteen dollars and sixty seven cent ham stretch. Okay. I go for the if I could be with you. Only you can make it right, baby. Every time I close my eyes, I think of you. No matter what the season is, I still love you. With all my heart. I want to be with you wherever you are. I only think of you ooh, on two occasions. That's day and night. 
Dang, it's a bone right here. I go for more if I could be with you. Only you can make it right. I gotta see what's going on. It's a bone right there. Can I? Can I cut my meat away from the bone? Let's see. I can cut my. I wonder if I can cut the ham. I'm gonna try to get three pieces of ham out of this, y'all. Cut that big piece. Oh, my hands. Oh, my hands slippery. Slippery. A little piece of ham there. That bone, let's say it ain't going nowhere. Okay, well, can I cut around you though? That's all I want to do. Let me cut around you and we'll be even. That bone up out of there, y'all. Oh, the bone right here. Okay. That bone come all the way through right here. Don't be talking about, oh, she messing the ham up. You got to cut it up anyway. Or is y'all saying this smart? Which one? Okay. I got me three pieces of ham out of one ham.
Okay, I'm cooking this. In my crock pot, it goes. Y'all good? Is you good in the neighborhood? You can see. Is you with me? What time is it going to be? Yay. You good? Do you need a... What's up, y'all? Can you see? Okay, look like y'all can see. All right. So, we got our ham in here. I'm going to turn him around like that to get them bone side on the over there on the bottom all right so another ingredient that y'all gonna need is maybe some cinnamon if you like to use cinnamon or cloves right you know how people like to take those cloves and be sticking them in the ham ain't nobody got time for that sprinkle some cloves on those child all right so first thing first Normally, I would take my ham and I would rub it down with mustard and everything. That way, everything can stick to it. I ain't finna do all that. Because when I be all extra with my ham, my husband, he 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 like it. But he just like, you ain't even got to be extra with it. Because he just, he love ham and he love it when I make it simple. I ain't got to be doing, doing the most with it. So, I ain't. I'm not. trying to see if I have some more brown sugar. Alright, Diddy, you do the same, boo. Hey, Miss Rosalind. Hey, everybody came up in here that I did not see. If you one of the ones that came up in here and you didn't ring that doorbell, ring the doorbell for your girl one time for the one time, if you don't mind. And a dash of clothes, great minds. Think of like, girl, yeah. Shoot. Because you really don't have to do the most with it, for real, for real. Long as you get that ham good and sweet, that's all that matter. That's really all that matter. We, we just be doing the most for decorations and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But when you cooking it and want to get it done, and long as it tastes good, child, you all right. Put you some brown sugar. You're going to do this to your own taste. I'm just showing y'all what I'm doing. Brown sugar. Clump 
close. Syrup and it's butter flavor. And another one that's real good if you get that pecan syrup. But see, y'all ain't got time for that. So get you some butter flavor. For the pecan, you got to order. Put you some syrup on there. White sugar. Cause the white sugar going, the brown sugar going to make the white sugar do what it's supposed to do. They're going to come together and do just right. I do like a little black pepper. You can add the cinnamon if you want to. I'm gonna put some soda. I ain't trying to have it swimming in there. Pineapple juice and pineapples. Butter. So I got it down in enough liquid. You don't need too much because it's going to make its own liquid. So now... Only thing you got to do, put your lid on now. Let it go. And I'll put it on low because I'm letting mine cook all day. Low. Long as it's on low, I ain't got to worry about it drying out or nothing like that. Cooking too fast and all that though. They 
go to him. Now, say the pineapples for my. Let's shall we fix a drink? Shall we? Shall we? Let's just go and fix a drink, child, while we eat it. Fix us a drink. A little fancy looking drink at that. It ain't that damn it ain't gonna be that damn fancy, but it's gonna be fancy enough, okay? It would have been nice if I could have froze these right here first. Froze those bad boys. Baby, 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 baby. I'm just put one in there. I'm saving them. They got the last me to the mark. So we're gonna try out some of this here real sangria. With no shots up in there. Just straight. Smells wine. It don't smell like it's sweet though. Toast to a good day. Oh, that's good. You, you can't even taste the alcohol in there for real. Oh, yeah. But it says 7.5%. So, yeah. All right. So, now we're about to work on the dressing. Let me put my bag in my trash can because I can't be bagless over here. Okay, I'm going to push this here out of the way because I'm going to need that. I'm going to need this. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to need the butter. Leave it like that. I'm gonna need that. Leave you sitting there like that right there. Um, I ain't gonna need a pose. I might need. I ain't gonna need a black pepper right now. Okay. Vanilla, put these up in the refrigerator. I might need that for it. I need it for it.
Then you send the fifth data. Fifth rail. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right, so what we about to do is we're about to work on the dressing, but before I can work on the dressing, Gonna steal, oh, Miss Meredith, you say gonna steal Miss Meredith. What Miss Meredith said, I made ham with pineapple jelly and a dash. Oh, that was you that said that great minds. Oh, you know what? I was thinking that was Miss, um, Miss, um, I ain't seen Miss Miles. What Miss Miles at now? She's been missed for a couple days. But I thought that was Miss Susie for a second. I told her I don't be reading her name. Should I just be reading comments? All right, so before. Before I let you go away, can I get a kiss goodbye? Before, before I let you go away. So, got my dressing. I got my turkey stock that we made the other day. I have my turkey tails and turkey butts. No, turkey butt and turkey wings. That's what this is. Turkey wings and turkey butt. Um, we're going to need us an egg. I don't want my counter crowded, but it is what it needs for right now. Okay, and whatever else I need, I'll come back to the refrigerator. All right, but before we do the dressing, I want to um put these sweet potatoes on because we're going to be doing our candy yams, too. We're going to find out what it tastes like, Susie girl. Okay, so y'all just see me from over here. I'm going to go put my sweet potatoes on, and I'm going to boil them with the skin on. That way I ain't got to be... Doing all that peeling and stuff. I'm just rolling with the skin on when they cool down. I peel them. Potatoes got me one on my rental mate because I ain't gonna need that much because ain't nobody gonna eat it but me and grandma. I'm gonna make four and whatever this four make, that's all I'm gonna have. potatoes, put them in here, let them burrow till they get soft, but not too soft because I still want them kind of hard because then I'm going to run them in the oven and make candy ends with these. Get a kiss, couldn't I, baby? See, I wanna know. I gotta get one look, it's good. I 
Don't say bye-bye. Please. I don't want to lose your sweet love. So don't say goodbye. Say goodnight. Oh, I need my... All right. That's your song. <laughs> hey, Krista. Alright, so right here, what we about to do one time for the one time. Hey. Gonna get us some butter. Sorry, y'all. Hold up. I'm trying to get the. Come on. It be looking like bad lighting on my end, but it don't be on y'all end. Is it okay? You make you some hot water bread to let it go with your greens, girl. I don't blame you. Hold on. Let me post my cash out. All right. That's my cash out. For anybody that want to use it. Oh, y'all can see good, too. Okay. All right, so we got our butter here. to get this food going. Bell peppers.
We're just gonna saute these till get them nice and soft. them do their thing because ain't nobody got a babysit. Here I have my stock that I made, turkey stock. So we letting this here do its thing, and now we're about to get over here back on the counter. Really. What time does he on the start? I have a hard time getting used to the work. Um, 51 minutes ago. And then I miss Angela and I done did another hour and a half before this one. But it was um something else though. So, 
Here I have my turkey tail and um turkey tails and turkey wings. Let me heat that up some. Let me heat that up a little bit. I got my cornbread that I made the other day. It's four days old now. I've been drying out in the oven. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to take this cornbread and we're going to crumble this up. You couldn't get the video to work to save your life. Um, somebody else was saying that too. T Love, somebody the video deleting the app and refreshing. Reinstalling five. What? No. You had to go through all that. You've been catching the replays. I don't know what's going on, y'all. I don't know. I wish I knew what to tell y'all. Crystal, uh, pretty shakable. All right, so we're getting the bread in now. I'm saving my pan. I'm just rinse it out and get the, the little bits of bread off the bottom. I ain't even trying to wash it. I'm just gonna get the bits off the bottom because we're gonna reuse that same old pan. All right, so I'm gonna break down this hill bread. Break it down. When you do um, dressing, you do not want no lumps in your dressing. Y'all ring that doorbell for me, hit the thumbs up, the like button. That's what I call it, the doorbell. So if anybody here that is new, welcome. Thank you for coming. I'm happy to have you, sugar. Y'all know what? I'm glad I ain't swept them up yet. Because I, I, I know I'm going to mess my flow up today. So I'm glad I didn't. Glad I didn't. So we're breaking this bread up. My bell pepper, onion, and celery is still over there sauteing. Getting nice and tender. Yeah, that's the worst thing you can have in some dressing is them dried little lumps of bread. Y'all ran that door with a fuck me. It's 146 of y'all here. Only 64 people were on the door bell. Y'all hit that thumbs up the like button. That's a little neat way of me calling, giving the, the like button a name. I call it the doorbell. Hey, Miss Wanda.
everybody make different, but I enjoy it. Okay. Yeah, people do make it different, definitely. They definitely do. So break all your little crumbs down. This bread smells so good. Hold on, let me get over here and um, I'm gonna stir my uh, seasoning. So we got us some little crumbs, right? So the ingredients that you're gonna need, I'm gonna show you that one when I get ready to um put it all together. Okay. So the bell pepper and the celery. Hold on, y'all. Play musical chairs with the light. Okay, so the bell pepper and the celery. Has cooked down to where it's nice and tender. See that? You want it nice, soft, and limp. You don't want them crunchy. I'm going to put that right in here. Now, what I'm going to do is... I'm about to take this... Sage sausage. <laughs> you can smell it. And I'm just going, I'm going to use this whole pack. Now you're just going to get this sausage here, just break it down to little crumbles like ground beef. And I'm going to get this over here on the stove and cook it. Once again, that's the turkey tails and the turkey necks. I mean, the turkey tails and the turkey wings. So what I'm about to do is I'm about to take my turkey, pull it out the bone while my meat is over there cooking. I don't let this get too hot. 
But I feel like a few turkey tails here that I might want to leave to the side for my own um, peace. Mm -hmm. You know, I just pick some of the meat out. That's what I do. Alright, so we're just going to break these here down. Take those off the bone, take them off the bone. Child, I didn't have to come from under. No, wait a minute. I didn't have to come from under this six foot of snow. I would have been on the way. Somebody house. Hand to hand. Start with in <laughs> What you say? Start with T and with all of <laughs> Come on, girl. I'm saving my bones, y'all, because them bones got some flavor in them. Uh, I'm sure going to save them, honey. I want to anyway. I feel like I need to boil them to get the rest of the meat off of them or something. You drinking, drinking some Hennessy and beer? Girl, you about to be messed up, Tina. You about to be messed up. I ain't feeling no pain, child. Y'all ring that doorbell for me. Hit the thumbs up, the like button. It's 161 of y'all in here. Only 73 wrong the doorbell. Why y'all don't want to hit the like button? Is, is there something going on where you can't hit it? You don't see it or something? You don't see the like button? Hey, Veronica. Y'all don't see that light button? Let me know now so I can let them know to activate it over there or something. Thank you, Tina. I appreciate it. Thank you, Uno. Appreciate it. Thank all of y'all that hit that light button. I really appreciate it. See, then we got our turkey. Let me go start my meat again.
No excuses not to bring the go bell for your girl one time. For the one time. Please, y'all, if y'all don't mind, bring the go bell. That's all I'm asking. Hit the thumbs up the like button. Yeah, you turn the green like Susie and me. What y'all mean by green? See, y'all use green different the way that uh, we use this green in our generation back in our time. Because green means fake. Huh? That's what green means, y'all. So y'all be confusing me when y'all be using that word. Because our meaning to green, they saying that you fake. No, when you say that I'm green, I'm finna like like say like you talking to somebody and you be like, oh you so green, be like you is so green. Green means that you fake, that you telling that person they fake. No, <laughs> now if you said that I'm gonna start smoking some green, then that means weed. But don't say that I'm finna be green because that means that you fake. I'm going to be a member. Okay, um, Miss Angela, thank you, boo. I appreciate it. Becoming a member. Oh, yeah, that's what she just said. But what does that mean still when y'all say green when she say i'm gonna be green oh her name gonna be green oh okay i just see y'all say that a lot so i finally had the opportunity to 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 say something with envy. Yeah, yeah, I know that, but I, I ain't think that's what she was talking about, child. I just see y'all use it so much, I don't know what y'all be talking about. I don't even see people where they say, I'm so green, I'm so green. I'm like, how you gonna call yourself green? Huh? That, you know how y'all get sometimes y'all don't know how to use stuff. You know. Y'all learn it from us and y'all be trying to use it. And use it the wrong way till you learn. So at least I told you. Look at that meat for dressing fist. A few pieces, please. I got you, girl. Go and get you some. Go and get some. All right, y'all. I'm going to cut this down a little bit more.
Okay, yeah, I remember Uno. Yes. So you done been with me for a little minute. cabbages for my peas and be in the So here's the ingredients. Oh, that's nasty, y'all, when that ice melt down on them. Here's the ingredients that you're going to need. Everything is already seasoned up, but you're going to have to go back in and add a little bit more flavor according to what you like. So, I'm going to be using Creole seed for seasoning for seasoning and also for the spice because normally I like to add um, cayenne pepper to my um, dressing to give it like that little, little kick, but not spicy, but a little kick. So, um, Tony seasoning, garlic powder. Poultry seasoning, onion powder, sage, and this is what I like to add to mine. Cream of chicken or cream of mushroom or cream of celery. It's up to you. I use the cream of chicken or cream of mushroom. You're going to need an egg or two. Depends on. It's just all according to how much you're making. You're going to need your meats of choice, whether it's turkey, chicken, whatever you're going to be adding to your dressing. You're going to need your cornbread crumbled up. And this year, for the first time, I will be adding sage sausage. So I'm going to take this sausage meat, add it right on in now. Then to that, I'm going to add in some of my turkey meat. Adding my can of cream of chicken. 
And you don't want to be adding all that cream of chicken to it where you making it look all soupy and stuff. Some people be messing up and be just be, 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 be putting too much. It don't take all that much, y'all. Just depends on how much you make it. You may need like one can or two cans, one big can, however. bell pepper celery and onion that I already added to it. I sauteed them first. You may need some sugar. Depends on if you're that type of person that like to give that little hint. Add that little sugar to it. Where it's not sweet, but some it give like it, 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 it give it a look mm, and taste. You know what I'm saying? So if you like your cornbread sweet, I've made my cornbread homemade. I did it on a live for y'all the other day. Measurements and all that you would need to make the cornbread for the dressing or just cornbread just to have. For cornbread, homemade cornbread. I already did that for you. Got you on, I already got you. So you got to go look, honey, because these videos say Thanksgiving preparation, but all of them has been done live. So I would love for you to go and watch them. Um, you know... Because I did everything step by step for y'all. I know y'all be liking quick, fast, in a hurry. But if you want it to be quick, fast, in a hurry, just skip through the video. And get what you need. I took my ham. For those of you that are just coming in, I done did ham already. It's over here in my crock pot. I showed you how I season up my ham and get it ready for the crock pot that way you ain't got to be standing on no, over no oven or you over here taking no room in the oven when you could just use that crock pot for your ham and keep it pushing. But I took my ham and I cut it up in three pieces that way I have um for another time some you know for diff for different occasions all right so now stock that I made for y'all on a live as well. My turkey stock. Seasoned up so good. So I don't know if I'm going to need some of those seasonings up in here or not. But we're going to add some of this turkey stock before we add some seasonings. We're going to get us some turkey stock up in here. You don't want this runny watery, but you don't want it super thick neither because you want your nice creamy, not wet. You want a nice creamy dressing. So a little bit at a time is, 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 is a good way to go. We're going to take that there, mix it all up. One ingredient I forgot, dang it. When I thought about it, I love to add chicken stuffing mix. I don't buy that bag and all that stuff right there. This right here is just as good. I like to add this. I messed around and added this to my dressing one year, and baby, it took it up another notch. So I don't added some sausage to it this year, and baby, I know it's gonna take it up some more notches. So we're going to add this uh, chicken flavor stuffing mix. And what it does is it gives it more moisture. That's all. We got seasonings in there and everything.
I was wondering to myself, I said, hmm, for the people that like to add the bread to it and they don't have to add the stuffing, but they like to add croutons and, I mean, um, bread crumbs and stuff like that. I was like, hmm, I wonder if they can get them seasoned bread, um, seasoned croutons and add it to it for that flavor, for, you know, flavor and stuff like that. Instead of buying the bread crumbs, buy the croutons. Sound like a good idea, don't it, y'all? Like the croutons like this. And get you the seasoned ones. Instead of these, get you the seasoned ones. They probably just the same. Yep. And they're probably cheaper too. Be too stuffed to walk to the car. I know the feeling, girl. And holding plates at the same time, Angela. <laughs> Angela, holding plates at the same time, girl. And asking, did they make sure they grabbed your dessert? <laughs> Oh, no, you know I do. I'm over here being bougie for real. You know I do. Now, this is what my husband seemed like he like right here. This is what you call a wet dressing. Where when you put it in the oven and you ain't leaving it in there long, no longer than like five, like ten minutes, yeah. This this is this is what you call wet dressing. This ain't this ain't what I I like as a, as a dressing, you know. But my husband he he like he is wet like this, uh uh baby. This ain't this ain't, it, it ain't supposed to be wet like that for me. Let me taste and see if I want another can of cream of chicken in here because I can kind of look at it and tell that I probably do. Oh, I don't need no more sugar, y'all. My bread was perfect for that dresser. Oh, that bread was perfect. Oh, yes, honey. All right, so one more can of cream of chicken. I'm going to add me some seasonings to that now. I'm going to add me some um, Tony's. It really don't need much, but I'm just adding some Tony's up in there. It need a little bit more of my poultry seasoning up, but not too much of that. <clears throat> my little garlic powder, onion powder. Everything to just top it off. A little tap, just a little tap of my sage. Don't need much of that. A little bit more liquid. Perfect consistency right here.
Let me taste it one time and see what the sausage tastes like. I can't tell the difference with my sausage. Did I get some sausage? Taste the so I mean, I um, I um, one more time. Okay. When you make your dressing and when you make your dressing and if your dressing is already be hitting on point on 1000 real good the um yeah for just for that little kick in the in the in the background not for it to be spicy but just for it to have that little that little kick but in your dressing if your dressing is already good, on point, perfect, everybody love it. I can't, I can't taste them sausage. I can't really taste them sausage up in there. My my dressing already have a good flavor. It tastes like my normal dressing. I can't taste the sausage. The sausage flavor is so mild in the background, you could barely even tell that the sausage is even in the end of. So, I'm going to let y'all be the judge of that and tell me what y'all think when y'all make y'all's. But the sausage really didn't make a difference in my recipe. Now, A egg. I'm not gonna add two eggs because I got a small pan. I'm gonna add just one egg. That one egg gonna be good enough. Pretty much know that that pan is gonna be too little. I ain't even gonna play with it. I ain't even gonna play. This one here might be big enough. The rest of my stock. I'm going to take that and freeze it.
take this here and cover it up with foil. And um, this is ready for tomorrow. To be baked tomorrow or on Thanksgiving Day, however. about to get to the yams get to the yams but let me um straighten up clean up my area real quick because i ain't no messy cook and i can't work in mess so i'll just be all over the place can't get right
wash these dishes real quick. Yeah, I use um clothes, the clothes powder. I use the clothes powder instead of sticking the clothes in there. You gotta uh go back and see exactly what I did when the um video was over. That was the first thing I did, Miss Um Miss Angela. Deep freezer until Christmas. I don't blame you, Tina. Tina, is you new here? If you are, welcome to the family. Y'all welcome Tina to the family. We happy to have you, Tina. Thank you for coming in and making yourself at home, feeling like family. Just joining right on in with us. Killing me, maybe. I'll pour a double shot of Hennessy. Girl, do you, girl. Do you both. I, I use every dish in the kitchen when I'm cooking, child. And I had to, I had to wash these up. Baby, they'll pile up on you in a minute. Then you don't want to do it. Hey, um, Jay. y'all if I should even do these turkey wings or just do this ham and no turkey wings. That's what I'm trying to think. Because they ain't going to eat none. Go ahead and give her a little portion. <sighs> Maybe I will. Maybe I will. Just don't do it.
Oh, delegate so and so place at the table. Well, come on then. So, honey, y'all show me to hurry up. Y'all show take too long to get over here. Wash these dishes. No, I don't like to wash no dishes. Y'all put y'all hands on in the air. Real, 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 real good. All right, so we're about to peel the potatoes. We're going to boil them till they is tender to the touch, but they're not all the way done. This is going to be for the candy yams. And you can do the same thing for your um, um, sweet potato pies, too. You ain't got to be sitting there peeling all the potatoes. Just boil your potatoes and let them cool down peel that skin off on them. 
Thank you, Miss Gay. You know, do a little something, something, you know. Just a little bit. Now, somebody boost my head up, tell me I can sing, child. They ain't gonna do nothing but honey. Make me really feel myself. But some of y'all can't peel sweet potatoes and stuff. You know, they be a little tough. Or you don't know how to use the the, the potato peeler and all that though. So, peel it with your hand. You needed this today? This energy today? Huh? You over there depleted, T Love? You already know Miss Rosalind gonna be busting, girl. You already know, girl. You already know. The flavor sheriff is in town. Thank y'all for giving me over a hundred doorbell rings. Thumbs up, like button that is. That y'all been over there ringing. I appreciate you, sugar. One time for the one time for doing your thing for me. But if you came in here and you didn't ring that doorbell, which means hit the thumbs up, the like button, ring that doorbell for you, girl, if you don't mind. Welcome to the channel if you was new. I hope you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're learning something. I hope you feel welcome. I hope you feel comfortable. I hope you... uh. If you want to be recognized, only thing you got to do is let us know that you was new. Or just say something, child. We're going to know. And we can welcome you to the family. I want y'all to hit that subscribe button so y'all will be able to get back to me when you need to. Okay? But over here on my channel. Over here on my channel. I am a lifestyle channel. You're going to get a little bit of everything, child. You're going to get some, um, you're Okay. I don't really need that big pen. You're going to get some cooking. You're going to get some cleaning. You're going to get some chats. You gonna get some learn how to budget. You gonna get some um motivation stuff, inspirational stuff. You gonna get some laughs. You gonna get some anger. You gonna get some tears. You gonna get all that over here because that's just me. My channel is all around channel. It's gonna be it's gonna cater to everybody's need. Okay. I, I I'm a woman that uh that love the barbecue. I do my own grilling. I do a lot of cooking. And, yeah, I just like to have a good time. All right. So, oh, how can I leave out that I do my nails not too chop? So, practicing on that. So, yeah, you're going to get some of that too. All right, so I'm going to take these sweet potatoes and I'm going to cut them up kind of big because I, I really don't want these to break down. So, I'm going to cut them up big. Hunky, hunky. And they still not done all the way through. 
You want them kind of like soft. You want them soft on the outside. You hear that? Look, look. I had to. You see that? I had to force my way through it still. It ain't all the way done in the center. That's how you want it when you're going to make you some sweet potatoes in the oven. You don't want to over, over cook them till they soft. Then by the time you cook them in the oven, you ain't going to have nothing. Oh, shit. All right. So that's going to be the candy yams. Now let's hook them up. One Tiana. What you say, honey? You forgot one. Tiana, you could dance, honey. <laughs> At that part with uh Mr. Joe. <laughs> Telling him, yeah, Mr. George is trying to get me, girl. Okay. So all right, so I got everything over here. So normally, you can make you a syrup on a stove or you can just sprinkle them over this, but I'm going to do it right here in this cup, okay? So, what I, what you gonna, the ingredients that you're going to need for your candy yams, you're going to need some brown sugar, light or dark, it don't matter. Anytime somebody tell you you need some brown sugar, just know it's either light or dark. You're going to need you some vanilla extract, up to you, whatever brand that you use, you're going to, or... Uh, uh, oh yeah, vanilla extract. Then you're gonna need you some cinnamon. You're gonna need some butter. And then you're gonna need you some white sugar. And you're gonna need you some butter flavor syrup. This is what I like to add to my um to my uh candy yams and to give it a good flavor. Okay, but once again. If y'all was able to get y'all hands on some of that pecan syrup that's made by, by a black woman, you can buy it on um, Amazon. I don't know the name of it, but I just told you everything I know. Uh, it's made by a black woman, and it's a butter pecan. It's a pecan syrup. If y'all could get y'all hands on that pecan syrup, that syrup would have been a, 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 a good combination in with these candy yams. Trust and believe me, I know, because I did it last year. Year for last, yeah, last year, one of them. But anyway, brown sugar. This gonna be. You can cook it on the stove to melt it down, mix everything all together. That's up to you. We're gonna do it like this right here. Brown sugar, cinnamon. Measure to your own taste. Vanilla extract. butter much as you feel you may need in there because you just break it off put it in the pan like that okay i'm one of the ones i don't measure i just pull and taste as i go because i am not a cooking channel this is a cooking vlog and i know how i'm just a, i'm just a beast at what i do cooking is my passion and i just come on here and cook it but i'm not one of the measuring types okay i measure as I go and take, I, I measure. I don't measure. I just pull and taste as I go. That's what I'm trying to say. Dang. Couldn't even get my own words out. All right. So then we're going to add some white sugar. Everything is up to you. What you feel you may need. And then we're going to add the syrup. Everything is up to you. How much you want to add. Let me stick this in the microwave real quick.
That's the stove. Try sometimes you just gotta take the quicker way out, honey, to get things done. I'm gonna taste that, see if it's sweet as I like it. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Come through, sir. Now I done melted the butter and everything, and now that's all I really, really want to do, melt the broad butter, bring the sugars together, and everything. Vanilla extract, yes ma'am. Pour you some, pour this right here over it. It's quite a bit, but it's all right. We use all that. I done mixed it up. Mix that up. Now, that's ready. Only thing, I, if you like to add marshmallows to it, put you some marshmallows. But tomorrow, only thing I got to do now, stick this in the oven. It's ready to go. That's three things down. Now, we're about to cut up some cut up uh, some cabbage just um while I uh throw out my turkey wings and we're gonna get the stuff out for the macaroni and cheese. Get the stuff out for the macaroni and cheese and everything. Question, family. I got a question. Hold on, I got a question, but hold on. I gotta use the bathroom real quick.
All right, my question is, whenever you um is cooking, uh, whenever you're going to cook cabbage and you don't want to cook it that day, I'm wondering. I know it can be cut up and stuff, but when I store it in the refrigerator, do I have to have some water on it? That's what I need to know. Do I have to have water? I know that you can buy a cut cabbage and stuff like that. Coleslaw, it ain't got no water on there. So, you think it can be stored? No water? Will we do it? Let me know. You will store it with water on it? Oh, me? Uh-uh. I don't like no pecan pie either. You heard of cabbage drying out? Okay. All right. All right. So we ain't gonna worry about it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna cut it up and put it in some water. My head, your head of cabbage dried out when you cut it up. So the best bet to put it, put it, put it on some water. My cabbage I wrap with paper towel around. My, oh, 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 you. That makes sense too, Miss Crystal. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So, uh -huh. okay. You do what I was saying. Put it in a Ziploc bag, store it in the fridge. Okay, that's what I want to do, uh, Tina. I'm singing a song, same song. I gotta get that song out my head. Just in case. I'll make it home tonight. Let me make love to you for the last time, baby. Cut the cabbage and put it in wet paper towels. That's what I'm doing. All right. Uh, I mean, uh, put it in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag because I'm gonna wash it anyway. And it's gonna have some water on it. So when I put it in a Ziploc bag, it'll be all right, right? Y'all think? All right. So now we're finna to. Ooh, that wine's so nasty when that. I will not be putting no more ice on that. All right. So now what I'm about to do is I'm about to get my water ready because we're going to get ready to do the macaroni and cheese next. After we cut this cabbage up and when the noodles get done and stuff. We're going to be making us some homemade macaroni and cheese. So I'm going to go ahead on and get my stuff out that I need. I'm going to get my stuff out and that I need. Got that one done, that one done. I can leave that in now. Leave that in now. Um, right, let me get my little sauce over here. I forgot I had to. Oh, let me put my cranberry sauce in the refrigerator. Got that jelly cranberry sauce. Okay, you gotta have you some cranberry sauce when you're doing some dressing, child. Okay. Okay. Oh, I gotta get my other ingredient out over there. Cranberry sauce. Mm -hmm. Right 
getting room temperature. What else? I'm going to get all this here. Pull it down and I'm up out of there. Okay. Okay. Let's see. I'll go ahead and I'm just going to take the egg out. With a big smile on my face, y'all. Alright, so let's... Over here, what I'm about to do is, y'all can see. What I'm about to do is, just real quick. In my boiling water. I'm about to salt my water to death. For my noodles, because that's what you got to do, y'all. Y'all got to salt that water to death. Season up them, them noodles. You cannot season noodles after they done. I know it may seem like it, but you can't. Them noodles is not going to absorb the flavor that you put into it like it would if you was to put it in there while they boiling. So put the um seasoning in your noodles while it's boiling. Chicken bouillon and some salt. Chicken bouillon for that good chicken broth. Flavor like you vote, like you, you know, yeah. All right. And so the water gonna come to the boil, to a boil. And um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up in here. Um, I ain't got no grease over here, child. I'm telling you, ain't got no grease over here. Did I put it over there? Okay. I need my oil. You can put some butter if you want to. But we finna go with the oil. I probably have some more grease. Probably do. I'm probably stuck in the wrong side of the cabinet or something. Oh, I need to organize my cabinets. Auntie who? Auntie who? Salt. Chicken bouillon, some oil. Keep your noodles from sticking together. Let that come to a boil. That's for the macaroni. We're gonna be using some of these noodles right here. I got on sale for a dollar. And I might do half the box or, you know, something like that, you know, because grandma don't eat macaroni, so I ain't really got to make a lot. So, yeah, we just waiting on that water to come to a bowl. Now we about to get over here and cut this cabbage up. For those of you that don't know how to cut a cabbage, I'm about to show you. The quick way to cut you a cabbage, you ain't got to be in there doing all that work because sometimes y'all just be doing too much when it comes to cabbage. You do. I got to be the one to tell you. Okay. Don't get in your feelings. But somebody got to tell you. All right? Girl, what you say? You and me both. All right, so we got our cabbage. Now, normally your cabbage will come with them little green leaves on the outside. Hold up. I'm going to need you up there. Okay, there you go. Oh, let me get my turkey wings out. Hold up. This 
is not gonna be a little bit, y'all. Y'all knew that too, didn't y'all? I know y'all knew that. All right, so I got my turkey wings soaking over here in some water, and I'm gonna put some vinegar on them so they can start sanitizing. Told y'all, vinegar is ble vinegar is a sanitizer for your meat. Okay. All right, so like I was gonna say, normally, um, you like the rain song? Okay, so, damn, my water boiling already, y'all. Hold up. Okay. These gas stoves gonna be clean, y'all. All right. So we're gonna get our noodles down up in now. How about I just make the whole box and what if we don't eat our freeze? Okay. Stir that down around. And we're gonna cook them half done. We don't want them all the way done. You want them half done. So I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. I'm gonna let that come to a boil, then I'm gonna turn it back down. I put it on medium because I'll be done forgot to come turn it down. Alright. Okay, back over here. Alright, too bad when we hit the doorbell, it would make that tone. I wish it would. I wish it would. No, I don't, honey. That that'll get on y'all nerves and mine too. All right. So anyway, the cabbage comes with some outer green leaves. Them outer green leaves, you're gonna cut that up to itself. Wash it by itself. Don't cut it up with the lighter green leaves because those outer green leaves take longer to cook. So what you're going to do is you're going to boil the olive green leaves separately. And then when you get ready to do your cabbage, just put them all together. Just put them together. Only thing I want you to do is boil them out of dark, dark green leaves by themselves. Cook them by themselves. You ain't got to add no seasons and all that up in there. Just cut them up, put them in, rinse them off, put them in the pot, cook them by themselves. In, in just plain water because you're going to add seasoning to the rest of your cabbage anyway. You just want to make sure you cook those two separate. All right. Okay, then. All right, girl. You was on the ball over there, Veronica. I'm going to have to come over there. All right. So, what you want to do is you want to cut the, the, the root off. Okay. Now you got the root off of them. Take your cabbage. Cut it in half. I'm going to show y'all a quick way to cut cabbage. You're going to get around that core. You're going to make a triangle. Cut a triangle around that core. And pop it out. Just like that. And then pop the core out. Some people, they get rid of all the white and all that. Hey, hon, you shouldn't even buy no cabbage. You're going to do all that right there now. Okay. All right. So then, do it to the other piece. Pop it out. Simple. Now, a lot of y'all like to act like y'all in the cutting greens and stuff. Child, just. Why, sugar? Why? You ain't doing nothing but making lesser in the pot, child. Okay, take the cabbage. It's not going to change the taste. It's going to stretch it a little further. All right? It's already going to cook down. So cut it up. And use some nice thick pieces like that. It's not going to take away from the flavor or nothing. Just do it like that. And you ain't going to be all day cutting up cabbage because ain't no telling how much y'all got to cook. Now, greens is a different story now. I don't do that with my greens. But the cabbages, 
Child, cut them things up. And then you can take that little hump and cut it in half. And there you go. Something like that right there. And be through with it. That's it. That is it. Now look at her. We are already halfway through. That's it. And there go your cabbage. I'm going to just get my cabbage over here in my colander. Wash it down. Real good. I'm going to cut this piece up too. Let me get this off my board real quick. Cut And as I wash it, I'm going to be picking my layers apart. stop my sink up and I'm gonna wash them in the colander because I don't want to um be putting all this down my drain you know I'm a home owner baby I ain't trying to pay no plumber so we're gonna fill that up Just 
Now I gotta waste dishes. Gonna strain these noodles. Mm-hmm. They al dente. Strain those noodles. Okay, so we're gonna wash the cabbage. You ain't got to take the time to pull them apart if you don't want to. I just do. That's the real big hunky pieces. That'd be the white one, so. Don't let bugs get in your way. Put some salt on it. And I can't come through the stream. And I stay too long. I gotta keep moving, my girl she's waiting, I don't wanna be foolish, I got a good thing going on, I got a good thing, oh no, can't stay too long, do anybody have questions? Thank you, Tina. You're doing the right thing. Hey, classy hippie. You like that song? And it's been stuck in my head today. I don't know why. That's my jam, though. It's Friday night. Y'all like that one? Oh, going down again. Let's party, girl. Hey, 
Tell them bring a friend. There'll be music, there'll be music. Drinks and drove in the wind. It's a party, it's a party. You're invited, come on in. It's Friday night, Friday night. Going down again, party girl. Tell them bring a friend. There'll be music, there'll be music. Drinks and drove in the wind. It's a party. You're invited, come on in, come on in. Say I'm feeling really good, hey. Say I'm feeling really nice. Find me a pretty lady, hey. Worked hard and I just got paid. Whatever I like, hey. It's Friday night. Mm -hmm. Feeling the music. That one is by um King George too. Leave and party. Who is that by? No, I don't cut potatoes in my cabbage. No, I don't do that. I never had that either. All right, I don't do enough. I don't do enough, do enough, do enough. I don't do enough. I did enough. I think I'm gonna go ahead on and cook these. It ain't gonna hurt to go ahead on. It ain't gonna hurt to go ahead on. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. Hook it up, hook it up. Hook it up. Got to show y'all how I hook it up. Oh. Okay, hold up. Of my turkey broth in here. I don't want no juice dropping in the crack of my counter. Hold on. Definitely don't want that. So I'm about to get right here because I refuse to have. Some mess that I know is down there in between my stove. Fill up the zip like that. We're going to get this um, turkey broth in the freezer because it can be used for something else. Some other time. Maybe some. Oh, you know what? I'm going to save some of this right here for them turkey wings. I'm going to put in that oven. Child. Child, girl. I'm glad you thought real quick, girl. Use this broth right here for them dang on turkey wings, girl. Throw your own child. I got your own broth, girl. You better go, girl. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Yeah, I'm going to use that right there. All right, that's enough right there for me to use in my pan. Probably enough. If not, I got some more for my turkey in there.
All right. So we're just gonna let that do hang out for a second. Um, right here, right here, right here, right here, right. Okay, hold up, y'all, cause turkey wings about to go down. But I gotta do something with this broth. I gotta get it out my pot, cause I need this pot. For them turkey wings. Yeah, I know. I just didn't want to put them in there because um, I put the sage up in there and poultry and all that though. And so I didn't want that flavor in the cabbage. That's all. But I sure would have used it though, but thank you. I sure never would have used it. Get the pot on the stove. Get the pot on the stove. Get the pot on the stove. Let's go. Let's go. Let it rumble and roll. Let it rumble and roll. Hold on, y'all. For my dang song. Dang, God, dang, God, dang. I hope I got some in here. I'm going to have to come in here and look and see if I got some. Oh, I think I got this. I found a key. I found a key. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for extras. Hallelujah. Mm. All right. So in my skillet, in my pot, not a skillet, in my pot, I want y'all to see in the pot though. There you go. All right. So in my pot here, I'm going to add a little oil. Just enough to kind of like coat the bottom. A little oil. A little oil right there. Just enough to kind of like coat the bottom. Then, we're about to get on in here with the butter. I thought I saved me a fork for that. Put me some butter. I like butter in my cabbage. Margarine, whatever. I just like that up in now. That right there. That right there. Now, 
We're going to take the bell pepper and the onion. That might be about how much onion I need anyway right there. Onion. Bell pepper. Bell pepper. The bell pepper set it off in this mug. Okay? So we're gonna let that there do its thing while we work on cheese sauce for the macaroni and cheese. We got to be ghetto. We got to be ghetto, y'all, at times. You got to do what you got to do, child. Okay. There come a time in your life where you got to be a little ghetto. What people will call it. But you doing what you got to do in the time. Put some butter in there. Because at the time, that's just what you got to do. And so, when I tell you, I forgot to buy some milk, but the best thing I've ever known, when they put milk in a box to go try, and I had it in the freezer, it's frozen and I'm about to get it, try I this box and put it in this hot pan. And it's gonna do what it needs to do. Cause I just wanna be free. Oh. I knew, I knew, I knew. And you was gonna love it. The ideal. Cause you might need to. Do the same thing I'm doing. So this is how you do it, child. Let it melt down slow. Don't worry. 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 I'm here to help you. Okay. <laughs> I'm here to help you, child. Let that thing melt down slow, child. Ain't nobody got time to be worrying about all that right now.
And at the same time, I'm gonna let that melt down slow. This cheese need to melt slow too, baby. So get what? We just gonna do, do it all together. Velveeta who? Velveeta you, not me, baby. I got some great value melt and dip. Easy melt cheese, baby. Cheaper than the Velveeta, baby. You better know it, honey. I am all about saving a few dollars, okay? A few coins, pennies, any way you want to put it. Long as I'm saving, that's all that matters, all right? So we're going to get this here in there with that right there because everything finna just melt together. I'm See? See? I'm helping somebody. That one I'm talking about. Holly, if you hear me. Improvise, child. That's what it's called. See, people forget about that. They be ready to run to the food. Child, I forgot milk, girl. You got a, a deep freezer full of milk. Oh, hey, you about to pull it out. Make do. So we're going to put that block on in the, up in there because the block is hot. The block is hot. All right. You better boo. You know I you know I will. You know I will. Alright, so we're gonna let that down melt together. And um ain't no wrong with a little cream cheese in your macaroni and cheese. Holly if you hear me. Ain't nothing wrong with a little cream cheese and your macaroni and cheese. So all that dough got to melt down, we going to go on, on and throw that on in there with it. Let it all do its thug fizzle together. Holly, if you hear me, holly if you hear me. <laughs> holly if you hear me. Ha, 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 yes. You hear me? All right. All right. So I'm going to let that done melt down slow right now. Honey, it's going to do what it need to do in, in due time. We're going to um continue to work these bell peppers and onions because we want to cook these down to just like how we did the bell peppers and the onions for the dressing. Do that there like that right there. I'm going to let that there about to fry a little bit. You know, it done melt it down now. Now we got to let it fry up a little bit. Fry, 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 baby, fry, come on now, fry, baby, fry, baby, fry, baby, fry, baby, fry. Cotton candy, sweet as gold, cotton candy, cotton candy, cotton, 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 cotton candy, sweet as gold. Y'all see me working that one leg, child, you better. Hold on, that means you don't work too hard, child, I ain't trying to hurt a hip or back or nothing, honey, we got to get up tomorrow, okay? Lay down tonight. All right, so we're going to mix that around. See how that does going? Oh, I'm child, I almost forgot. Uh, 
almost forgot y'all. Okay, we're gonna throw us a little, just a little bit of garlic off up in there. Look at this over here. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Y'all see it? But y'all see it though. I know y'all see it. Where the, what, the milk who? Where the milk went? Where the milk? Where is the milk though? You say who had the who? Child, that's cream cheese right there, girl. That's cream cheese, girl. Give more time. Give it time. Give it time. Melt that down real slow. It don't take long. Just do it real slow. Nice and slow. Like Keith Sweat used to tell you to do on the late night hours when he playing that music for you after hours and stuff. Trying to, trying to serenade your wine and down you to lay down by yourself. Whew. I remember them days, child. I wasn't old enough to lay down with nobody, but I remember. Alright, so. Now that you can add whatever kind of meat that you want to add, but honey, I am utilizing this smoke uh tur this turkey wings and this um smoked turkey tails, okay? And we about to get that on up in now. Mm-hmm. Okay, save a little bit for some else. I got my cabbage here. All right. And I'm about to get it right on in here.
We're going to put some seasoning, but we ain't going to worry about it right now. Let them cook down a little bit. Start breaking down and, and, and ready to take some seasoning. Because right now, they ain't ready for no seasoning. They're too tough. Crunchy. But if you wait to add your seasoning, you'll add a whole lot less than what you would right now. You don't need no water and no cabbage. You don't. It's going to make its own water. So just turn it down low and let it start releasing its own water. If you do it low enough, you ain't got to worry about burning your stuff in there. I promise you, you won't burn nothing if you just turn it on low. Put that lid on there, let it go. All right, back over here to this here. Woo, kitchen getting a mess again. Cheese sauce. All right. I'm gonna get that dough going. Y'all see that? The milk, the cheese, sour cream, the great value of Vita. Everything coming together. It ain't came all the way together yet. But coming together. Look at that cheese sauce. Woo! So I got this cheddar cheese, Campbell's cheddar cheese. This is my first time using this. You ain't got to add if you don't want to. I'll let you know what it tastes like though, for real, for real. I will let you know. Hello, cheese. I don't know what kind of cheese it is, but some cheese. I'm glad that um I did get uh that block of cheese because this show not wasn't gonna be good enough by itself. Nope, you can't use this by itself, y'all. Get that all mixed in together. Let that keep coming together. I need a little bit more time.
melting all those little lumps that's in there from the cream cheese now. Hey, Terrell, thank you. Thank y'all for ringing that doorbell and hitting the thumbs up the like button for me. If you want the ones that came in here and didn't ring the doorbell, ring the doorbell for me if you don't mind. Just let the rest of them melt down. So now we got our cheese sauce. We got the cheese sauce. Now we we'll be back over here. Now you could have added the shredded cheese and all that to it if that's what you wanted to do, but that's not what I wanted to do. Not this time. And only because I don't have a whole lot of it. I've been using it. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so now. The ingredients that you're gonna need for your macaroni and cheese is as follows. Your cheese sauce, um, how do I want to do this? Let's do it like this real quick. Hold on. Oh, my kitchen getting crowded. I don't like to be crowded. My kitchen. They come on. Oh. They come on noodles. Manuno. 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 My half done noodles. Yeah. All right. All right. So the ingredients that you're going to need for your macaroni and cheese is an egg, your cheese sauce, cheeses of your choice, some milk if you may need it. You may or may not. Just depends on how your cheese sauce turned out. I 
already seasoned up. The uh The noodles while they were boiling, so they seasoned to the tea. There we go. Onion powder, I love to add a little onion powder. Black pepper. And when I tell y'all about this last ingredient, Y'all better not get the damn scat, and I'm just letting you know. Because the only thing I'm trying to do is help you. I get tired of having to explain myself every time I bring this him, 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 him ingredient out. Like y'all don't already know what it is. Okay? So this last ingredient that I add to my macaroni is mayonnaise. I add mayonnaise because mayonnaise don't do nothing but turn to an oil, which is going to give this macaroni and cheese moisture. Your macaroni going to be so dang going moist, baby, you ain't going to worry about using sour cream no more. Okay, don't knock me until you try it. All right, don't knock it. You got to try it. This, mac this mayonnaise is the key to macaroni. I'm just letting y'all know. Now it's up to you if you want to use it. I done gave y'all the I done gave y'all the tip. Now it's up to you what you want to do with it. No, not in uh uh Miss Susie. No ma'am. No ma'am. I didn't tell you that it's in the place of no butter. Don't be adding on what I ain't said, Miss Susie. I said, it's butter already in the cheese sauce. I put the butter over there already. The, 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 the just like y'all add sour cream, add mayonnaise. And you still be having butter up in there. Ain't no instead of. No ma'am. Some great Kool-Aid over here having communion with y'all. Then, then I tell y'all to grab y'all cup. I told y'all I'm over here drinking great Kool-Aid. We having communion. Oh, I never knew they put it in the cake. Not your foot at your foot. How about that one, okay? <laughs> yeah. You missed how I did the sauce? God dang it. You gotta go back, Susie, when it's over. Cause I got I, I added some stuff up in there that that was new. I thought you was here. You must have typed out for a sec uh stepped out for a second. <laughs> you was gonna say great Kool-Aid. Yeah, child. I'm over here drinking these great Kool-Aid, child. It's good too. Walmart brand. A little with a little with a little um sand grill with it. You know. It's delicious. Y'all should get a try. All right, now what we're gonna do is crack the egg. Crack that egg. Crack that egg. You could have mixed it up in the cup and just poured it on in here though. 
I'm being so difficult with it. You're not going to taste it neither because y'all know how mayonnaise do. It turn to an oil once the heat hit it. So that's why I tell you it's good. I'm telling you. It's good. But I ain't going to stress it no more. I ain't going to stress it. I ain't going to stress it. Black pepper. How much you want. I like to add onion powder just for that little extra added flavor. Another good macaroni and cheese to make if you put smoked gouda cheese in there. I did it a couple years ago. So good, y'all. Don't panic. Cheese sauce. People gonna be raving over that macaroni. Then we're gonna add our cheeses. Oh, yeah. Real, 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 real. A real good thing. Put a little bit more. Only because the lines are a little bit looser. It's not too loose though. It's just a little tad bit. But that's because I'm baking this tomorrow. I'm not going to bake it today. I'm just getting everything ready. That way I ain't got to do nothing but slide in the oven. Slide, baby, slide. Come on and slide, baby. Slide, baby, slide, baby. 
Dip, baby, dip. Come on, on and dip, dip. A uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Come on, on and you know. You know. That's how we gonna do that. Yeah. Well, dang, you gonna make me have to use me one another glass dish. Y'all gonna keep saying, I keep on falling for Tiana when she gets in the kitchen. I could never ignore her. I can't help but be there. Then I say, oh, oh, I never felt this way. See that? That's all that that's all that is right there. Okay, let me get my spray. We can use some oil, butter, whatever. It's up to you, child. I just go for the quickest thing I can get. We got them cabbages still over here sitting on the rack. Y'all know what I'm talking about. 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 You hear me, Terrell? You hear me, child? <sighs> and it's nasty to you? God damn it. I tried it myself. Let me tell you something, but I'm going to hook it up, though. You know, you got to have flavor in your hands when you don't know what to do with what you got. Okay. I got flavor in these fingers here. You know what I'm saying? Can't nothing stop me from making mine good. Spray that pan, child. You know? Can't nothing stop me. I can't be. Put that macaroni in there. Why did I think that my, my Thanksgiving dinner was going to be small, y'all? Can y'all tell me that? Can y'all really tell me why I thought that my Thanksgiving dinner was going to be small, child? I don't know what in my good right mind, honey, made me think that my dinner was going to be small. Knowing that who I am, child. Knowing I can't even cook small, ain't small, don't look small, honey, ain't going to be small, child. But I'm over here trying to make a small dinner. You see me? I know I don't show that child. Talking about a small. I ain't cooking that much. Just enough. Child. Gonna get them noodles on up in there like that right there. taste the sauce for y'all since somebody said it's nasty. Tastes good to me. It tastes pretty good to me, y'all. That cheese sauce tastes like cheese sauce. To me, it does. All right. We're gonna cover this up. I'm gonna save this cheese because I'm gonna bake. I like the I don't like no crispy, crunchy, crusty cheese. I like nice, ooey, gooey, melty cheese. 
So I'm gonna save this cheese. And when I bake my um, macaroni and cheese, I'm going to bake it covered up because the noodles got to finish cooking. But I don't like my cheese on top while it's baking because the cheese starts sticking to the foil and I don't like that. And then I don't, you know, so I like to add my cheese to just let it melt down on top. You know, y'all feel me? Do you feel me? If you feel me, holly, holly, feel me. So that's the macaroni ready for tomorrow. Macaroni ready to go. So that's the candy yams, the dress, and the macaroni, the cabbages. Let's get back over here to the cabbage. Oh, my kitchen getting away from me. Y'all see them cabbage good enough? Is it good enough for you? Is it good enough for you? Is it good? 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 Y'all see good? On my end, it don't seem too good, but what about y'all? Okay. See that? Cabbage is limp. They ready for some seasoning now. They is ready. They is ready. All right. Get that up mixed around. All right. So now, they about done as I'm going to cook them today because we're going to finish them off tomorrow when I got to heat them up. All right. So, now we're going to, the seasoning that you need is a little black pepper. Not much. Garlic onion powder. Y'all know I love my chicken bouillon. So I'm going to add some of that right there. Then, y'all know I tell y'all all the time that are wrong. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, y'all. I tell y'all all the time, complete seasoning is good on vegetables. So I'm going to put some complete seasoning. Then, y'all know that I love to add a little sugar to my cabbage. Now this part is up to you. I don't make them where they real sweet. I just put enough, baby, to balance that taste. And then I taste and see if I want some more. Okay. So we might add some salt. We might add something else. But let me get this here mixed up. See what I'm working with.
And I wish I could show y'all the juice that it already made in here. Y'all ring that doorbell for me. Hit the thumbs up the like button. It's 226 of y'all up in here. Only 157 of y'all were on the doorbell over here. Oh, shucks. But um, I called the doorbell the thumbs up the like button. If y'all don't mind, y'all ring that doorbell for me. Y'all hit that subscribe button. I want y'all to hit that subscribe button so you can find me when you need to find me again. I don't want y'all to be over here lost in the sauce. Can't find me. Hey, Miss Tanya. What's going on? Hey, Jillian. Hey, Hazel. That's the cabbage, y'all. And as you can see, I added no water, but they create their own juice. You see that? They create their own juice. Not too much. But these right here is about where I want them at because I'm going to reheat them tomorrow and I don't want them too, too mushy. But we like our cabbage soft. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to get them lights up, baby, because I'm over here doing my thing, showing y'all all, all the tips and the tricks and stuff, and y'all getting tips and tricks and going to tip your way on up out of here with all the tricks. Uh-uh. Nah, I'm going to need for y'all to treat me to the like button, all right? Look at that. Hey, Miss Cheryl. I ain't see you coming here, girl. All right. So now. We're going to get that there a little taste to see where the seasoning is at. See if we need a little bit more or what. Little air thing. See what it's working with. A little something. Mm, hold up. Damn. It needs some old child honey. It needs old child honey. Honey, old child honey. This cabbage over here, like, you forgot about me, boo. Honey, you forgot to add some more seasoning. I, I was coming. I just had to check you to make sure. Okay, cabbage. Don't be showing out. Little Tony's finna go up in here. Seasoning, salt, whatever you want to add. But I'm adding some Tony's because Tony's going to bring a little kick to the, to the party. Then... Honey, the, the, the sugar say help is on the way. Help is on the way, okay? Shout out to Country Wayne because I sure used his uh, line just then. Mm bit more child let me throw i ain't gonna keep putting this tonies up in now because sometimes when you just can't seem to get that flavor in there and it's and you know you ain't missing nothing because you taste everything up in there and you know you ain't adding no salt sometimes you just need to add just a little salt and that's gonna bring it right on through Even though Tony's got salt in there, but that Tony's and, and that chicken bouillon ain't gonna do what the salt come to do by itself. Salt don't need no help sometimes. Honey, it come to be the help.
There we go. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> Wake up the flood. Cha. I'm going to need y'all to sit here in this pot, honey, and come together as a family as that you are, okay? I'm going to need you to sit there and uh, serenade one another, okay? Honey, we're going to turn that off and let that do what it's going to do, baby. That is through, honey, okay? Honey, ain't no more that we need to do to that right now. All right. So now, child, I got a whole mess over here. I need to clean up this. I need to clean up <laughs> what I done messed up. Start my life over again. I need to clean up. I need to clean up what I done messed up. Start my life over again. I made up my mind. I ain't cheating no more, cheating no more. He said he ain't cheating no more. Right out there, go. Oh, I'm gonna clean up. Hey, what I missed up. Come on now. Start my life over again. I'm washing these turkey wings off over here. They were soaking in that vinegar water. Mm-hmm. Then I can clean up this kitchen and do my last thing. Got that clean up. Setting that oven to 400 and put it on 450. Y'all know I like to cook slow. 450 degrees. All right, so the seasonings that you're going to need is some black pepper. Going down. Going down. All right, 
So, ingredients that you're going to need is some salt. Hopefully, I ain't running full sauce over here, child. Don't, well, child, pay me some mine, okay? But, into who? You're going to need just some salt. Let's just go on season while we talk. Put that salt on now. Then you're going to put you some garlic powder on now. I got to find my onion powder over here. Put that garlic powder. Hold up. I got to get my onion powder. Got to get the onion. The onion powder. Like a double Dutch bus. When you had onion powder, I just had you now. I just had you. And you, oh, oh, there you go. Don't get to hiding on your powder. Season it up. Season it up. Paprika. Season to your own taste. I'm just showing you what you need. Poultry seasoning. Gonna give it that Thanksgiving flavor to it. Just a little smidget of pine thyme leaves right there because we got time. Time on see that's what see that what led to that right there. This right here. Time on your hands. Put a little bit of time up in there since they got time. What you said, Susie? I better sing. <laughs> You better. That's poultry seasoning. Hold up. Garlic powder. Did I put the garlic? I don't know. We're going to put some more in. I don't know. I don't know if I did, child. Then we're going to throw some of this here toning seasoning on there because you can't go wrong. Honey is just going to hook it up. Just like that right there. Then we're going to throw us a, a little tad bit. Try just a little bit of that garlic, mixed garlic on them. Then, I'm going to take this here. Mix this here up. Mix, mix it up. Mix, mix. I got a taste. See if we got enough seasoning for me. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Mm. Okay. I got my. Turkey stock. Turkey. Turkey turkey wings in the oven. Got my turkey stock. Take them turkey wings. Get them right there in that turkey stock. They cut up, y'all. So that's why they look like that. For those of you that may not know. Then, I like to add this to it, some cream of chicken, cream of mushroom. Wish I would have had a cream of mushroom to add to it, but it's all right, though. It's all right. We ain't even going to play hate on on the mushroom right about now. We finna make the chicken do what it do, okay? Just get that on up in there.
Don't worry about it mixing all in with the juice because that's what you want to do because when this is through, I'm going to take this juice and I'm going to make a gravy. So I got my oven on 450 because I don't like to cook slow. And... I had to switch out foil because I had runnels over there and runnels is a little um expensive, you know. So we over here with the cheaper one for right now. So whenever I get ready to pull the foil back and look at it, honey, get the tan up, we ain't got to worry about tan up runnels. Runnels going to be on standby for when to get ready to go in the refrigerator. Uh, and we could lock it down real good with runnels over there, honey. Because runnels say, honey... Is you gonna buy me or you gonna rent me? I said I'm gonna rent your ass, honey, because I'm gonna use you all month, all, all season, honey. I don't know, I don't know, honey, if I'm gonna be able to afford to get you again. I ain't had no choice but to get you that time. So, you know, we, I'm just gonna rent you, okay, Mr. Reynolds, as I need you. But we're gonna keep the rest of them, honey, that we can afford on hand. So we ain't got to use runnels like that. Because runnels will run you dry. Okay? Your pocket. So we're going to cover that. Damn it, I forgot my butter. Hold on. The butter is a tenderizer. So you're going to cook them to fork tender. I don't know how long. Just to fork tender. When you can tear it with your fork just like you do baked chicken or something. Thank y'all for giving me to 171 doorbell rings. I really appreciate it. Get that in the oven on the bottom rack. That lets you know we ain't come to play time. Ain't nobody got all day. Woo! It's time to clean the counters up. Let me use the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back.
Alright. Whew. I gotta get this mess together. Wash the dishes. Oh, I need to get these cabbages. Hold up. Y'all enjoyed this here? Anybody cooking chitlins for Thanksgiving? Take, uh, Keisha, did you see my um my live on that? On how to do chitlins? I showed y'all step by step on that. How to clean them and everything. You enjoying it? I'm glad you are. I'm glad you are. Uh, 
Alright, so we're gonna have to switch sides because baby ain't nobody got time. I'm trying to pack no dry, I mean no 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 dishwasher. So I gotta lay a lay a tower out. Up here, sit them up here, watch these dishes. You love pineapple upside down, okay? Anyone else eat dry cereal out of the box like chips? I do, honey, when I got the lunches and they ain't got nothing else sweet to eat. Honey, they be delicious, especially the raisin brands. Mm. Them raisin brands be so good. Cause I got the little raisins with it. That's why I got a little sweetness. All right, so for those of you, Tiana is a good company as well as a good teacher. Thank you, Susie. Been going home over here sipping on some white honey. <laughs> Because I don't discriminate, Holly. If you hear me, I hear you, child. I wish I would have had. I wish I could have had at least some of that right there. You love raisin bran? I don't like the cereal. I really don't. But um, I have found that I was eating them just dry whenever I had the munchies or whatever. So, all right. So this for the low key people that the people that low key like to watch, look at um, uh, clean the videos and stuff. This part right here for y'all. Honey, y'all know how we do, child. We ain't did nothing with this water, okay? The dishes just been sitting in the ass, some more dish detergent, child. Because it got the bleach already up in now. Okay. So we just going to add that dish detergent. Ain't nobody finna let out a good sink of water. Anybody else wash their dishes with bleach?
Gotta go down. Gotta go Don't want my music thing. Smile on my face. Smile on me. Nice and sweet. I'll do my peas tomorrow. There's no need to doing those today because it ain't gonna take long. So got my meat. Put my peas here. We'll do that together tomorrow. Damn it! I keep talking about some deuce. I forgot. My peas, my white peas I was telling y'all about. All right, so my kitchen is back to normal. I got a sweet job. But that'll happen in a little while.
I let the sausage in the fridge for tomorrow. For tomorrow, for what? And bottle food day. It's a um, it's a sausage um croissant you, know, you can have for breakfast tomorrow. And bottle food today. Oh, did it? Yeah. Somebody yeah. supposed to do the Thanksgiving thing, but he canceled. Oh, y'all didn't do the thing. Oh, yeah, y'all do. Yeah, he canceled. Oh, okay. Uh, he bought, 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 Why they always want to put me up in some shit? I ain't had nothing to do with all that. I always want to. If you don't when I call, make sure I ask Why they trying to tell you? I was telling them the other day too, I said we was out there in that dog on night air. And I was sneezing at first, but it didn't get me. Not your ass over here. Ain't that long with my toes stretching. Yeah, that, that means that you finna get sick. What day for I don't know, but you showed me to start working on it. Yeah, you don't came in here and don't kiss me. You shouldn't even gave me no sugar. She done made that her home. She don't be want to come in. That ain't her home right there. That's her it is. I'm going to put them in the other refrigerator. They right, huh? 
What? Yeah, like this is big or something. It's, it's in though, no problem. Yo, you cook it right now. I ain't gonna. I got everything in there that's gonna go in there just by, just by. Just by. No, that, that fish right too small. Why are you explaining? I'm getting it in here. You gotta remember, babe. Put that in the refrigerator for me. Oh, my throat he, feels scratching. He just, he just stacked anything though. He just put anything. anything you got my anything. throat feeling scratchy, babe. Oh, I feel scratchy over here. All right, keep playing. I I know that's right. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get to making those cheese cake. Cheese cake. Hold up. What up, dope, my people? Thank you. Oh, you popping, but you got about like two oh seven in that mug, but you been on like four hours? Yeah. Fifty one fifty in the building. I made that long date. I Bowl smell, smell like new. Hold on, let me watch this bowl. I gotta watch this. Bowl. Eat some mints. I was just playing, but I need some cause his behind got a little scratchy throat now. So I need to get some. I was messing with him. Cause he, he kissed me, and he shouldn't have kissed me. No one, I get sick easy. And I was just telling y'all the other day, I said, ooh. I kept sneezing, but I didn't think that, you know, it was no sign of sick. Well, I did kind of think it was a sign of sickness, but I didn't think I was going to get sick. I just hadn't mentioned it. You know, I kept sneezing. I'm like, shoot, ever since I left that, that um, Thanksgiving get-together we had with the family and stuff, I've been sneezing. But we were sitting outside and that night out around the fire with a blanket on me, drinking alcohol. And so, uh, if I did get sick, I knew where it came from. But now his ass over here, he done got sick for real. All right, so we finna make a no-bake layered cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. My strawberries froze, but I'm finna try to work with them though. Forgot to pull them out. All that I've been doing and I forgot. So y'all understand. Babe, which way was it that you liked the, uh... I think I want to go back over here on this side, y'all. Which way was it that you liked the strawberries when I did it? Did you like them cut up big or small? I want Yeah. Did you like them cut up big or small when I did the strawberry uh, cheesecake? I remember you did. You liked them one way over the other. That was small. Probably was too. Yeah, I, that was small. yeah, I can guess it probably was. All right, so I got me some frozen strawberries because strawberries so high back and so oh we had to make zoo. Okay. So I got some frozen whole strawberries. And we're about to work with these right here. So hopefully, I don't know if I need one bag or how I'm gonna do a child, but you know. All right. 
I know y'all ready for this here. Just excuse the dishes, y'all. I just want to get over here because I feel like the light is just better over here. That's when God sent the angel. Taught me the meaning of true love. Now my friends really ask me why I don't hang like I used to. They still laugh and call me names like old man, party pooper. And I don't care what they say. Well, I might come through, and I can't come through to stay. Can't stay too long. Let's see if I can cut these a little bit. We gotta keep moving. Okay. So we're gonna cut the strawberries. We're gonna slice them up. Slice them up, they, they say it. Oh, I really don't want to do them small, but I guess I'll do it just for him, but I really don't want to. So we're going to cut the strawberries. Cut them up. Cut them up, cut them up. Put them up, put them up. No bag strawberry cheesecake. Layered strawberry cheesecake. I'm about to give up on the small cutting already. I'm about to give up. I can't give up though, y'all. I gotta hook it up like my husband want it. He want it small, so I gotta, y'all know this is what we gotta do sometimes. You know, when you don't feel like it, honey, you just gotta do it. You just got to. You know, you don't feel like it, but you got to. I got to. That's all right. That's giving that turkey more time in that oven. You know? Hopefully by the time I'm through with this cheesecake, no strawberries getting away. Hopefully by the time I'm through with this cheesecake, my turkey wings might be through. Or almost there one. One or the other. So I'm going to get these here sliced up. And the ingredients that you're going to need for the cheesecake is some vanilla extract, some um, condensed, sweet and condensed milk, some cream cheese, powdered sugar, white sugar, Cool Whip, graham crackers, butter, a little cinnamon if you want. But I bought some cinnamon crackers so I don't need no cinnamon. Can't stay too long. I 
I actually like how it cuts with the um with them being frozen. I don't know if I'm gonna need any more. I I like to do these as um individual servings too. That's my favorite way to do this, but I forgot about the cups. Run this in the microwave real quick just to knock that frost off of them after I, so that they can start juice the fine, bringing out their flavor. Because it is froze, 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 froze. I don't gonna need no more strawberries. I'm gonna try to make it just enough for what I got. Cause I got another bag, but I really don't feel like cutting them up. Well, we can't be skimping in the strawberry department, but baby, I'm gonna make this here do what it do. I just thought about it. I ain't gonna be able to eat too much of this here. Put them seeds on these strawberries. God dang it. I'm going to get my share now, though. I ain't going to tell no lie. <laughs> I'm going to get my share. Sure lives. Y'all wondering what's brewing over here in this crock pot? Is that ham? The ham, baby. Damn it. Come back over here. Get back in the bowl. Had to work too hard on y'all for you be trying to run away. Run away. Run away. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this going this gonna be enough right here. Yep, that's gonna be enough. Only thing you need is like one container of strawberries, maybe two, it just depends on how much you're gonna make. But got the frozen one, so I got a whole bag right here. And you cut them up however you want to cut them. It's up to you, boo. You do you. Just showing y'all how I hook it up. Now, I told y'all I don't like cheesecake, but I like my cheesecake. And I'm going to show you why I like my cheesecake over anybody else's cheesecake. I don't like nobody's cheesecake because they don't do their cheesecake like this. And they ain't got to bake. So that's a plus.
Let me see where everybody from. Where y'all from up in here? Let's see where everybody come. Where y'all from? From the 305 Miami Dade, okay. Indiana, come through. Don't put no abbreviations. I don't know all that shit right there. Now, I don't know all of them. Your ass gonna get skipped now. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, gonna get skipped. I'm gonna say the letters. Kokomo in Indiana, okay. Who you told me to check the cash my cash out? Uh 305 come through. Green Castle, Southern California, Detroit in the house. One time for the one time. Kentucky, 502, Maryland, the DMV area. Okay, I see y'all around the world in him. Michigan, Oklahoma in the house. Okay, I see you, Detroit. Tampa Bay, you better come through them books. Um, thank you, Lean. Appreciate you, boo. I know you will, girly. West Oak Lane, Philadelphia, coming through. Representing. Hi, hey, Miss Angela. Oh, yeah, this going to be plenty enough strawberries, y'all. Plenty enough. Raleigh, North Carolina. Okay. I might go somewhere that way for, for Christmas. I might. I might. I got to see. That's a strong might. I actually enjoy cutting these up frozen. A whole lot more better than cutting them up fresh. New orders in the building come through with the gumbo on the stove. I see you now. Do y'all just do y'all do gumbo all the time or or you like it? Do y'all like it? Mainly for Chris, like, say, like, y'all probably do like it all the time, but what I was going to say is, like, whenever y'all do gumbo, do y'all do the gumbo for Thanksgiving, or do you do it mainly for Christmas, or do y'all do it for both of them? All right, so there go the strawberries. Nice and cut fine, like my husband would want them. Small, not fine, but small. Chicago, Illinois come through. Represent. All right, so now we gotta taste one of these here to see how sweet they is. Ch 
child, they left the sugar behind, honey. They went running off. Took off from the... Oh, shucks, hold on, y'all. Child, hold up, wait a minute. Hold up, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up, y'all. Lifeline, stay right home. Don't go nowhere. I know it might get a little hazy on you, but well, hold on. You there? Is you there? All right, we got some charge on you. Strawberries, they have forgot about um honey, they forgot about sweetness. Sweetness cheated on them, okay. Sweetness cheated on strawberries. That's why strawberry went frozen. Cause she was she was so depressed because strawberry uh sugar cheated on her. So she said, you know what? If sugar want me back, sugar gonna have to come running back to me. And that's what sugar doing right now. We gotta kind of put sugar and strawberries back together. Cause baby, they've been divorced for a little while or something. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let me put some pimping in it, honey. Okay. So, I'm going to mix those up. Oklahoma, holly, holly if you hear me. So, we're going to mix those up. Like that right there. And that sugar going to start breaking, them, breaking it on down, honey. And... Letting Strawberry know that it done came back home. It wasn't his fault. It was the growers. They picked them too early. And Strawberry is going to say, I understand, baby. I'm so sure glad to have you back, honey, because I've been over here bitter and tart. And i just been mad with everybody over here just snapping. You know? That's why I had to go over in the frozen department because I ain't know how to act because you left me. And sugar say it's okay, baby. I'm here now. You ain't got to cry no more. You ain't got to stay bitter no more. I need you to get back to the sweet self, okay? And sugar and strawberry said, okay. You ain't gonna cheat no more, is you? Sugar said, no. Just come on and, and release your juices. So, empty hole. I'm stirring to get it going. Let me taste that. They're going to be all right in a minute, okay? They, 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 they looking like a married couple, tasting like a married couple again. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm glad. I love to see couples get back together. You know, especially when, you know, we don't learn their lesson and stuff, you know. 
I'm just so happy for strawberries and sugar right about now. All right. If they can work it out, anybody can work it out. All right. So now. I'm going to leave that in there just in case they want to fall out in the process of it, you know. She, she done got the side of for thinking she don't need him no more or something. All right. cheese. I'm going to start with a block because the block is hot. The ingredients you're going to need is the strawberry sweetener with sugar if you need to. Cut them up how you want to. Uh, cream cheese. Just depends on how much you're going to make. Cool whip. Sweet condensed milk. Powdered sugar. Graham crackers. Butter. They close the door. Close the door. Yes. Yes. What's your phone name? I went down to that country that side of the day over what a preacher man. You just smoked up. What's her name is? Who? What's your phone name? Went down to the country. Who folks? Tasha and you know why we went down to that country and the heavy set lady with their arm. Um, What's name, mama or something? Twin mama or something? You know, went out there, her husband a preacher. The light skin, the light skin dude with the bald head. Went to his birthday party. Where at? With Sabrina, Selena, and your mama. Out there in the country. Hell, you act like I know who you talking about. You always want to bring up some old shit and want me to remember. Oh, they your fault. Hell, I don't know them people. Anyway, yeah, that, that, that's his mama. His dad, yeah, his dad is they folk. So what? Okay, what did I say though? That, um, hold on, they don't lie. I can't be talking online. They know people. Right? Don't be talking about my people over here. Nosy. Your ass nosy. Y'all heard they call y'all nosy. <laughs> they called y'all nosy. I'm going to check the cash app in the end because I, I remember somebody said check the cash app. I'm going to check it in the end. Okay, so we got cream cheese. He, he know he ain't got no room to talk, honey, with his nose is. Now, nah, he knows it. Put this whole can of condensed milk. I'm still throwing down Lydia. Uh, I gotta get my dinner ready for tomorrow. Sweet and condensed.
Um, I might need to use both of these. Oh, yeah, I don't even always be talking about y'all. Always tell my child. <laughs> Come on, baby. And I really want to. Now I'm struggling. I just opened one. Don't do me, baby. Don't do Damn, they glued this mug. Kill, honey. They made sure the vials ain't get up in here. Whew. Child, you weren't going to steal this cream cheese. I'll tell you that much. I'm going on. I want y'all to hide so y'all can see. Because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. La la la. Da, da, da. We're going to mix up some vanilla extract up in here. Try to pour what you want. When it's imitation. We're going to put some powdered sugar up in here. Because powdered sugar. How the sugar going to sweeten it up a little bit more. I'm going to add a little bit of that at a time because we don't want it too, too sweet. Then...
a nice little consistency like that right on so now I gotta give it a little taste of it taste I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar in there because I know my it's sweet to me, so if it's sweet to me, it ain't gonna be sweet enough to my husband because I don't have a sweet tooth. So whenever I think it's sweet, I gotta add a little bit more. Now, we're going to take the Cool Whip, and the key it is what we're going to do with the Cool Whip is, make sure y'all still charging, okay, so what I'm going to do with the Cool Whip is, I'm going to add the Cool Whip to this, and what the Cool Whip is going to do is, Fluff it up. It's going to fluff it up and make it where Carl Dibs on the beater. Oh! <laughs> okay, so Cool Whip. I'm going, I don't know how much of this I'll be adding. I, I don't know if I'm going to add all of it or what. Yeah, I just, I just put it on there now. It'll be all right. So, fold in the Cool Whip. It's going to fluff up your cream. Put some air in it where it's not so dense. This is Tiana's No Bake Layered Strawberry Cheesecake. Yeah. I don't make it. If y'all don't stop by here, honey, you don't know who you're looking at. I am Tiana. I can only be me. Y'all gonna ring that doorbell, hit that thumbs up, that like button. For me, one time for the one time, if you don't mind. See how I fluffed it up, put all that air in there like a mousse. That's what you want. That's that goodness right there. Just fold it in there. You ain't got to stir it in. Just fold it in. Mm-hmm. Just like that right there. Yeah, ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, so now we're going to sit that down to the side. Child, we have a little bit left on the top, child. Child, you know we don't waste no groceries over here. I don't 
right. So now what we're going to do. Okay, we're going to sit these two. We're going to sit these to the side. But now we got to work on the crumbs. I don't know how much cookie I'm going to need, but I'm going to make sure I do enough. I got me some cinnamon graham crackers. We're going to make this homemade crust. And while I'm making the crust, Get some of this him, him, him butter, margarine, whatever. And we're gonna melt some of that. Damn it. You trying to avoid making a mess and be making a mess. I'm gonna melt that. Crush your crackers. These ground crackers so show no soft. I ain't never had no ground crackers that didn't poke my hands and stuff. Honey, these ground crackers that they made of nothing. They breaking down so easy. Honey, they be tearing the bag up and everything. Come on, shop. Don't tag your family. Why you don't want nobody to tag your family? You don't want, you don't want them to know that you're from the house hot. No, I'm with you then. Don't tell the family, honey, because I don't need you to be bringing them with you, child. Okay? So if you do, honey, you just let them know, honey, they're going to have to bring some groceries with them. All right? I might just need this one. The motor bill in my case. Y'all wait till I hook this up. I mean, these graham crackers, crackers is different, different. all I need but the motor better like I said in my case so that's three sleeves I don't need no more Now we're going we're gonna to get this him, him butter. Just melt it, but not too hot. Pour some on there. The, the, the wet it up. Mix and bring it on together. Take it on home. 
Take it on home from here. That's why I tell them you can put some cinnamon in this. In your crack. Alright, so I got to use my hands with this here. Because I got to feel this. Oh yeah, that's perfect there. You want it where it can hold together, but you don't want it too wet. That's how you make up the graham cracker crust. See how I can mash it and make a crust with it? That's what you want it like that. So it's a hold together. All right. I want y'all to try this. Miss Meredith, I know you're going to say you. I'm trying that. Ms. Meredith, I want you to give this a try. And anybody else too that's going to try. But Ms. Meredith, I know you're going to try. So if you do, let me know what you think. And anybody else that tried, come back let me know what you think. About this cheesecake here now. Alright, so now let's get to it. Here I have me a bowl. This is what I'll be storing my cheesecake in. This is what I call my no-bake layered strawberry cheesecake. This is a Tiana's recipe. What I came with came up with a couple years ago. You gonna try it too, Miss Angela? Let me know. Make sure you let me know now. Look at the strawberries. See how they don't juicify and stuff? You really don't need all that juice, but ain't nothing you can do about it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get us some crack graham crackers. Put it in the bottom of the bowl. I don't know. I might, I might do need them other ones. Mash that down. I might need the other ones, y'all. This bowl bigger than what I thought. We're gonna see. My favorite part, what's y'all favorite part of cheesecake? Mine's is the crust. So this is why I came up with doing my cheesecake this way. Because I don't, I'm one of the ones that I'm not a fan of cheesecake. I don't like cheesecake. But I like my cheesecake. I like my cheesecake. My cheesecake is good. So now we got that. So now we're going to add in some of our filling. And see, this is why I like my cheesecake too. Because cheesecake is dense. And I add Cool Whip to mine to fluff it up. Where it's, so, where it's airy and not so dense. So that's another reason why I like my cheesecake. Gonna take that, spread it on in. Try not to get you some no crumbs up in there. If you do, it is what it is, but just try not to. Just spread it out. Get you a good little layup in there. Mm -hmm. Just like that. And that's why I said I like to do this as individual servings. All right. So now, I'm going to take a slotted spoon and try to 
drain some of that juice off those strawberries. I'm going to take the strawberries, sprinkle them in. This might give me two layers. I'll be good. Be good with that. Spread them out. On the round up and down. Just like so. Then, you're going to take some more graham cracker. Get the layer in the part. And you're going to put you some more graham cracker on now, like that. Get you another layer going. Yeah, I'm going to do some more crackers. Another layer going. Like that. I'm gonna get you some more filling. And you could do however many layers that you want to do. I'm going to make it two layers. You could do this in a pan if you want to. Whatever dish you want to do it in, it's up to you. Like I said, however many layers, it's up to you. I like to do more than two layers, but I'm just making it do like this. Making it do like this right here. Still going to be good. And when y'all taste this right here, mm -mm -mm. I don't think y'all going to want cheesecake no other way. But my recommended way is get you some um, individual little cups from the Dollar Tree or something and um, put them in the individual cups. That way you ain't got to be digging in here and messing up the pretty layers or whatever. You could just already have it ready to go single serve that's how I like to do it but I forgot my cups Mm-hmm. I was telling you, Miss Meredith, um we um if you try, let me know. You probably don't think you was in here when I was saying that. Spread that down.
get another sleeve of crackers. And I think normally I mix up me some more butter and mix these up together and do it the same way I did for the in between. But this time I'm finna do it different. Y'all could do it the other way. Keep put you some more butter in your crackers. But I'm finna do it like this. The crust is my favorite part. Just like that. So this is my first time just putting the dry crumbs on top. But I'll let y'all know how I like it. Y'all just mix y'all some butter in with y'all's on. And keep it going like I did it in between and on the bottom. That way, just in case I don't like it, it's mine's like that, not y'all's own too. And if you're doing it for a lot of people, do it in a flatter pan. That way you could dig out smaller portions instead of thick portions. Okay? So do it in your smaller pan. A, a, a flatter pan or individual cups, however. But I'm just letting y'all know how I recommend you to do it if you're going to serve it to a lot of people. You want to have that pan stretched out that we could dig out less as possible. With it, with it like this, you're going to dig out a lot. Okay. All right. So now, I got that right there together. One thing I got to do. around these two edges and y'all will find out tomorrow what I think about this here with the uh, dry crumbs on top Yeah, cinnamon sugar or honey gram, either one. I bought cinnamon sugar because when I made them, when I made the last few times that I made it when I was killing it, um, I was adding cinnamon in my in my um graham crackers to give it a cinnamon taste, cinnamon taste, and I liked it. So that's why I bought the cinnamon graham crackers. But when I first started making it making it, I loved it with just the honey gram. So either one, it's up to you. I just put that in the refrigerator and let it do its thing. Look at that. Crust all the way through there. You see what I'm saying? And it's a light, fluffy feeling. I don't like that dense. I like the light and fluffy. And crust for days. So, I can eat cheesecake like this. We killing it. So let's um wash up these few little last little dishes. And we're finna check this um turkey wings in the oven, see what's going on. And I'll be at y'all hell. Thank you.
ready for me a bath. Get off these dogs. Shit, got them. Hold on, y'all. Wait a minute. Your past that. Hold up, y'all. You there? You there? All right, there y'all go. Y'all, y'all got tired just then. Y'all just fell over. I understand. Hold on, just give me a few more minutes. I gotta look at this ham too, cause this ham could possibly done be done. We don't been on her five hours. The ham might be ready. Might be ready, 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 ready. smelling luscious. Hey. Huh. 
This is gonna be a good meal. He'll come back home too, ain't it, y'all? Talking about eating somewhere, huh? Eating somewhere else, honey. I'm just going for the fun. I come back home to my own grocers. Come on now. You over here doing the most. So, so you done had it today too, child. It's tired. Leave me long. I'm finna leave you long just to show you drain. Come on. Just drain on that and I'm, I'm gonna be through with you. I ain't got nothing else to wash. I got my glass right up. I'm gonna use that. Oh, hell no. I'm gonna give some time to do what I need to do. I ain't got time. I ain't got some. It's going out, it's just going out slow. Okay. Let's see what it tastes like without the ice. It's showing good ice. Some of this right here. Hi, Ty. Hi, Kiki. Get on back here. What you got going on, girl? What's <laughs> going on, girl? Damn. Now, you and Kia done did it today. You and Kia both done showed up today out of nowhere.
All right, let's check the turkey. Oh, let me taste this real quick. <laughs> Bless me, Jesus. No. I got some Bruno Mars, but I just wanted to try something different. Try, and I should have got my damn Bruno Mars. It's all right when it when it ain't got no ice in there. I could dig it like that, but with that ice, no ma'am. Mm -mm. Thank you, no ma'am. Okay, let me get my turkey out. Uh, let's see what we're working with. Don't think y'all finna see a whole turkey. This is some turkey wings. The uh, the whole turkey, baby. We can't do it, so I had to do the cane wang it. Cane wang with it. Cane wang with it. Cane wang with it. Flick. So clean. Just stay up. So clean, hey, can't wing with it, can't wing with it. I'ma wing with it, I'ma wing with it. Okay, honey, we cooking turkey wings. Turkey wings, turkey wings, turkey wings, turkey wings. Y'all hear me? Turkey wings, turkey wings. Let's see. Let's see if they tender. It look like they tender. Look like a bone coming off one. I might be. I might be tripping, but it sure look like a bone. Turkey wings. Tur turkey wings. Only thing you gotta do when you pull the turkey out the oven is hook up the gravy. Hook up the gravy. Mm, mm, mm. Hook up the gravy. Hook up the gravy. And there's some cut turkey wings. Okay. Hook it up. That is it, y'all. These turkey wings done. Only thing I got to do is make the gravy. And I'll do that tomorrow. I'm done with y'all today. I am done. We'll do gravy tomorrow. Peas and um, I don't think I got nothing else to do, y'all. But tomorrow we're gonna do the rest. Cause I got the rest. I gotta let this pan cool off so I can put it in my refrigerator tonight. And that's it. Don't be laughing at my damn turkey. Cause ain't nobody want no turkey but me. Okay. All right, so I made enough for me and grandma. So we don't need nothing but a few little turkey wings. That's about a good three of them and a piece. Okay, and they just cut it down each piece and made three. All right, so today y'all got, oh yeah, and I'll be making some rice tomorrow too. So y'all, look at my eyes. Y'all know I'm tired. I'm so tired. Okay, so. Y'all don't forget to ring that doorbell, hit that thumbs up, that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. The doorbells, the thumbs up, the like button. But don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notifications so you come back. Don't be no stranger. I put in time with y'all today, showed y'all all that I know. Okay. Come on back. What's up, Dr. Eva? I hope y'all have a fantastic Thanksgiving if I don't see you no more. Christmas and New Year's, okay? All right. But today y'all got, oh, we got to check the ham. Hold on, y'all. We got to check the ham. How much charge? We got 15%. All right, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You're welcome. Hold up. We got to check the ham. Now, damn. You can't be leaving till you see the ham. Hold up, I gotta, I gotta open. I know that's ready, it's them turkey wings. Let me turn my oven off. Save on that light bill some more. 
Hold on, let me get y'all some light over there. So y'all got y'all some dressing, cabbage, layered strawberry, no bake cheesecake, turkey wings, ham. Shit, I done made it. Honey, I can't even think what I did. Y'all know what I did. Macaroni and cheese. Everything. Y'all got it all. Y'all name ball. You can't get your little because you want it all. A dog named ball. Uh oh. Thank you. Okay. There's the ham. There's the ham. There's the ham. I'm so tired, child. I grabbed the spoon trying to show y'all this damn ham. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That ham done, y'all. Mm-hmm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Let me make sure. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. Let me taste that broth. That sauce. Mm-hmm. That dill. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I ain't even gonna break it down. I'm gonna just, ooh, roll it over. Yeah. Roll it over. Roll it over. And I know I tell y'all no forks. Don't get me. Uh, y'all, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Don't get me, y'all. Y'all know I tell y'all no forks, but damn it, y'all know I'm tired, child. I can grab the fork. Y'all know I don't do no forks. Not with my meat. Ooh, 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 look at that. Ooh, ooh, child. See, they'll do your ham in the crock pot. You ain't got, ooh, child, we ain't even finna disturb it because I'm finna let it sit down in these juices here and just cool off right. Ooh, ooh, child. Come off the bone then if you want to. I ain't even mad at you. Ooh, ooh. come off the bone, baby. Bring it on home, baby. Do what you want, baby. Cause it's on. It's on. It's on, baby. Oh. Yeah, we finna let this ham sit down in them juices. And now them juices gonna really penetrate up in that ham and get all that. Mm, child, we gonna leave the bone there. Everything, child, honey, cause we don't care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I did my thing today. I did my thug to the thizzle. Did y'all see that? Love y'all. Y'all saw what I said to do. Y'all heard me. I'm done. Tomorrow I'll be making some gravy. Some rice. Getting these chickens back out, honey, hooking them up. Chickens already done. Let me go and take them out before I forget. Thank you, boo. Thank you. You already know I was going to come through. No matter how much I say I ain't going to do Thanksgiving, y'all know. Y'all know the, 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 the number one shelf of YouTube. The number one flavor Flavor girl. Y'all knew I had to. Y'all know I couldn't leave y'all hanging like that knowing y'all needed me. I know y'all needed me. It's all right though. I got you, boo boo. I got you. And if y'all need me on them chitlins, y'all go check that live out I did on the chitlins too. I showed you how to clean them the right way. The right way. Showed you how to clean them. And um, where is my treatment at? Hold on, somebody done came and stole the treatment. And I showed you how to cook them, how I cook them the next day. So 
You can't cook and clean chitlins in the same day, baby. If you got some chitlins, you better get on them tonight. Child, I got some chitlins, y'all. They ain't here. I'm tired. I'm going to cheat them right here. I only cook one bag. So, yeah, that's all we're going to get out of there. And plus, I ate some, too. Tell the truth, I ate some of them. I told y'all I was going to eat some, though. So, we're going to put these in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And then that, that turkey is going to have its, a spot when it's, when it's cooled down right here. Got my boiled peanuts up here. Everything. Everything is everything. Every. Oh, they might slide off. Everything is everything. Y'all see, we got alcohol on deck and everything, child. All right, y'all. Love y'all. Peace out. Y'all have a good night. I hope and pray that God allow each and every one of y'all to sleep good tonight and wake up in a good mood, good spirits, good energy, and strength to see another day and do whatever it is that you got to do. But until the next one, y'all, or oh, have a good day at work if you got to go tomorrow. But And if you're traveling, be safe, okay? But until the next one, I love y'all. This your girl, Tiana, I'm going to be me. I'm out. Peace.